on my online school, I've got, I, Chicken. I teach that, which I sort of fool the students into, into learning that, those techniques, because they're so important. So for, for example, uh, this is a really simple thing that I make everybody do. And it's just playing an E chord, like, and then doing something I call a chicka, where you mute the strings, and, uh, and you just get a like, chicka chicka. So here's the thing that I make everybody do. You gotta tap your foot, and you gotta go, It may seem like an easy thing, but a lot of people have never, you know, they've only played like, you know, they've, they've learned like their scales. And they never actually learned the technique to, to stop the string. Now the next thing I do is I'll encourage the student to play a single note, like, but to mute everything with the left hand, and that way you can hit it. You can hit all the strings with the right hand. You can just be sloppy and carefree and you don't have to worry about anything because the left hand is muting all those other notes except the one you want to hear. So for example, I do this one with them. I'll go like... That to me is so valuable to play on the guitar because I'm doing... You know, if I don't control it... Out, but I'm still able to let that one note squeeze through. That kind of thing, just you know, really, you know, whatever. What's the verb? Uh, bashing away on, on this on this side and uh, controlling it all with the left hand. And the same thing can happen. You know, I actually developed that from just having way too much distortion and volume as a kid. And so I developed a lot of, uh, simultaneously, a lot of really good reading techniques and simultaneously a lot of hearing loss. So <laughs> the chickens are a better way to do it. All right, so that's a good one. And one right there. Why do you not play with the whammy bar that much? I've noticed that. Not play with the Yeah, whammy. I'm just curious. Yeah. Uh, actually, the new record that I just made, I, I, I put a whammy on one of my guitars and really had a good time with it. But, but I'm such a bonehead whammy player. I was just like, wee, 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 wee. I didn't do anything artistic. I just had fun. Um, I think because I, I, um, I'll start to, I'll actually start to get lazy a little bit, especially in the high E string. The, uh, the high E is one of the most challenging for, for vibrato because, um, for example, let, let's say you end a phrase on the, on the G string, where you're going, uh, and you go, that's fine, because you, you can, with that note on the G string, you can pull down towards the ground, and everything's all right. But let's say you do that same, similar kind of phrase, but this time you're going to end on the high E string. You go like... You know. If you try to bend it, 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 it pulls it off the edge of the neck. So you have to push up, and it requires a whole different part of the callus, and like B.B. King is a master of that. If you watch him, he's got like this giant, amazing first finger. And it took me about six weeks, you know, I, I mean, I procrastinated for like three decades, <laughs> and I finally decided that I want that B.B. King callus, so it, it took me six weeks of just every day. <laughs> finally, there was enough skin to do it. But um, if, if I have a whammy, you know, I'll go... And I'll just do it with the whammy, and I'll never get the callus. And I want that callus because it opens up so many phrasing doors. Because the whammy, it takes like a split second to get to it, where well, my finger's right there. So it's just, it's a stylistic thing. I mean, I think if, if the more you get into like traditional blues phrasing, which I've really been interested in lately, it's really nice to, to be able to have like lots of calluses in all your fingers and be able to get vibrato at, at, at any given point. You know, no matter where you end, there's endings or everything. You're just being able to go on. Uh, and be able to have that without having to go, oh, where is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> and so an instant vibrato, that's what I want. Thank you.